All right, so here we have a question that says, which of the following has the fastest pacemaking function, okay? And here we have a number of pacemaking cells, the atrial myocytes, ventricular myocytes, bundle branches, sinus node, and AV node. And it's asking us, which of them has that fastest pacemaking potential or function, okay? So in other words, what is the intrinsic rate of that? Now, a few things I want to uh, go over here, all right? Because this is an important concept. And what it's gonna show is that that the heart has a safety net involved, okay? Just like every other area of the body, there's always that backup system uh, that really helps out. And that's why the, the body is really an amazing system. So what we have going on here is let's kind of go over our uh, conduction system, okay? So here we have our right atrium, okay? Our right ventricle, left atrium, and left ventricle, all right? And remember, the right atrium, the blood flows from there to the right ventricle, and it then goes out to our lungs, so we have our lungs that come off, okay, gets oxygenated, comes back to the left side of the heart through our mitral valve to the left ventricle, and then out our aorta to the rest of the body, okay? So that's how the whole closed pathway system goes of blood. Now, when we talk about this, we're focusing more on the conduction system. So again, let's kind of go over that. We have our sinus node that sits up here, okay, near our superior vena cava. So let's use a different color. So here's our sinus node sitting up here. And from our sinus node, we have these internodal pathways, okay? So we have an anterior, posterior, and middle one. They come to this AV node. All right, you also have that Bachman bundle coming to the left side. From the AV node, okay, you have this His bundle that then subdivides into a right bundle branch that innervates this um, right ventricle, okay? And then from going to the left side, you have this left bundle branch. And then again, this one actually has two major fascicles that subdivide from it. You have a left anterior fascicle and a left posterior fascicle. Remember, the left anterior fascicle uh, innervates the anterior and superior portions of the left ventricle, whereas the um, that posterior fascicle innervates the inferior and posterior portions of the left ventricle, all right? And then these fascicles, the right bundle branch, then go to our ventricular Purkinje cells and then to the individual cardiomyocytes and the impulse spreads, all right? So when we're talking about here, normal conduction will start from our or sinus node up here, okay? It'll come down, all right, to our um, AV node through the His bundle and then spread both ways to the left side and the right side of the heart, all right? So as you can see, it has this constant pathway, and we're asking, what is the fastest pacemaking potential? You may realize when we talk about normal sinus rhythm, okay, in adults, this normal um, pacemaking function of the sinus node is between 60 and 100 beats per minute, all right? These are general concepts when we look at adults. Obviously, this is different in children. That tends to be more based on percentile. But in this case, with um, here, we're going to be looking at, we'll say that this is the sinus node and it has a potential of... Uh, conducting 60 to 100 beats per minute. We have our internodal pathways and Bachman bundle. We won't say too much about them because they're not here, but remember, okay, so we've talked about the sinus node we said is between 60 and 100 beats per minute, okay? Then we have these atrial myocytes. Remember, we're on in the atrium here, and these atrial myocytes imagine different cells within the atria that can also conduct, all right? Say that they, remember, it's the fastest pacemaker, the one that really starts the rhythm of the heart. So if one of these pacemaking cells in the atria tends to be the fastest, it may out beat this um, sinus node and take over pacemaking function, all right, and then conduct through to the AV node. And you may recall that's something we can see with a wandering atrial pacemaker or an atrial tachycardia or multifocal atrial tachycardia, and that's pretty much what's happening, all right? So, but normally, if you don't have that, uh, these pacemaking functions tend to be between 55 and 60, all right? So that tends to be uh, the pacemaking function of that. All right, and as we get lower in the conduction system through the His bundle and uh, through the Purkinje fibers into the, these ventricular myocytes, it tends to decrease more, all right? So the AV node, okay, in general, the AV node here tends to be about 40 to 60, all right? So you can see as we go down, and then as we go even lower, maybe the bundle branches tend to be between 35 and 40, okay? And these are just estimates. And then as you get to the ventricular myocytes, we tend to think of them about 20 to 40 or 20 to 35. But the main things I want you to take away is this sinus, or those that are atrial, okay, rhythms. 
So those happening above here tend to be between 60 and 100, okay? And then underneath it, when we get into those AV node or those junctional rhythms, we tend to think 40 to 60 beats per minute. And as we go lower into the ventricles, then we start thinking 20 to 40, okay? And that's when we can start to uh, really differentiate if we have escape rhythms, such as an AV, right, a complete heart block, you may have a junctional escape. And it's often with a rate between that 40 and 60 beats per minute, okay? So what we're seeing here is that if this sinus node fails to conduct, you may have an atrial pacemaker that takes over, or you may have one coming from the AV node. If the AV node fails to conduct, you may have one coming from the his bundle or somewhere lower and so forth. And this is kind of a backup system as the heart, but again, the fastest one is always coming from the top. So all the way up here where we started from. So when we go back to our question, it's asking which of the following has the fastest pacemaking uh, function? Okay. Okay, of these listed. And when we go through them all, we can certainly see it's the sinus node or the sinal atrial node that has the fastest pacemaking or intrinsic rate that can fire at. All right. So again, fastest pacemaking function of these is the sinus node. All right. Well, that's the end of this. And hopefully uh, you learned something here. Please don't forget to like this video and leave a comment below if you like what we're doing. In fact, many of you have asked how you could help us out. Really, the best way you could do is simply subscribe and share this resource with your friends. And you get free access to more than 300 videos. There is also a community of over 270,000 of us like-minded individuals on Facebook. So stop over and join the EKG Guys uh, Facebook community. Many of you have also asked some questions. Leave them below or share them on Facebook, and we can try to answer them with a short video so everyone else can learn. We also have a number of new courses with corresponding videos coming out soon, so stay tuned for those. Last but certainly not least, your feedback is incredibly helpful and your kind words are always an encouragement on those long days. So let us know how we're doing. Thank you again for your support. It is truly appreciated. We are the largest, fastest growing EKG resource in the world.